Welcome back to another tutorial of PyQ GIS in the GIS World Academy. In this short video, we will talk about adding a map with a specific size, position, custom properties using PyQ GIS in our QGIS plugin development. If you are excited, let's get started. As you remember, last session we just create a simple layout. Maybe we can just we just add something, the name like a GIS word. We can make a sample right now. So this is a GIS word. Perfect. Then maybe. So today we want to add this map. Yes, like something like this. This part should be zoom to layer, the inside the map. And also we want to add the correct for example some positioning so whatever according to the rules so for example x and y this is the location of this point the width 300 maybe we can say 330 and the height will be it's okay i think everything maybe 80 85 Yes, <laughs> it looks good. So we want to implement the same thing. Uh, let's uh, start. First of all, we want to add the py Python, make it bigger. So like this. Then I will go to the PyCharm. Just copy everything there. And after that, again, QGIS paste it there. Good. Then, because now we want to create again another functions this session and and the next sessions, so I want to create the executor function. Executor function we will call the other functions. So definitely, this one should be started with a dunder, and maybe I can just copy all with it there. So. Perfect, and then we will name it as a layout. Easy. Then after that, f dunder map. So our map definitely should has a layout. Then after that, we should definitely should has x, y, width, and height. Okay, then we are saying that our map should create it from QGIS, QGIS layout item map. So, and then we should add this one to this layout. And then this, in this map, we want to create a rectangle set uh set rectangle so for the rectangle it doesn't matter what you want to give you can give exactly the same x y and width coordinate or you can give any number that you want for example maybe i can give these numbers but again it's one two three also it should work i will explain to you because now we should use uh, the move and resize to give the correct position of the layout okay after that i want to say layout dot add i think layout item so i want to add the map to that uh great then we will call up here we will give the layout after that what is the input of that x okay uh, I, if I remember properly, 5, 30, 285. Okay, after that, we should say that if dunder dunder name dunder dunder it's equal to dunder console. After that, we should call executor. Executor and uh, Definitely the executor input should be layout name. And also here we can give 
because right there j is worried maybe i can just run this one <laughs> perfect first error add layout item so what is the error of that add a layout item add layout item is here so the problem is the layout layout is coming from here and layout it's coming from the layout creator yes it's completely correct we forgot to return our layout if you don't have any layout how it can add this map to something not so the error it was completely correct so yes now it works properly so we go to the project we go to the layout gis yes it's fine then items map no sorry on maps uh, you see that here everything is zero so it was a reason that i told you it doesn't matter it is one 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 or x y z yeah okay so we can make it also maybe i can change it to one one then you also you see that also it is the same so don't worry about it to solve this problem right now you should use the remove and the resize so map dot move uh, sorry <laughs> attempt move so when we are using attempt move and then also we have map dot attempt resize for attempt move we need a qgis layout point so QGS, sorry, QGS layout point. So for the QGS layout point, we are giving uh, X, Y, and the unit, it should be the, uh, I think we should call QGS unit types, and then from the QGS unit types, we should give layout meters. Okay, I think it's fine. We can copy paste exactly the same thing. Q, I think I forgot to close it. So, also this one, QJS unit. Here it should be uh, width, and here it should be uh height correct and here also it is not correct it should be qgis layout qgs layout i think size oh what happened qgs layout size good and i think now it should works Hopefully we don't have any error. So layout, GIS, here, we should go down. Yes, perfect. Now you see that X, Y, width, and height has a correct position, positioning and size. Then now we wanna add a layer to that. So how we can do this part? Maybe we can get rid of this part. Uh, so we can add the layer or frame of the, maybe we can, I think, uh, extend of the layer is the most important one. Layer is equal to QGS project that instance. I'm not a fan of writing like this because remembering these things very difficult. It was map layer, map layers, I think. Why? Map layer by name. Buildings. Okay. And then after that, we should add the layer to the executor. After that, this layer also should be added here. Also, this layer should be added here and inside our map rate and after this part we should say that map dot zoom to extent 
So we should say that layer dot extent. Perfect. So here we know that what is the extent of the map and after that we are adding the map to the layout items. I think it should work properly. Uh, maybe I can just map layers. Yes, it is. It was map layers by name. And the list object has no attribute extent. Yes, it's correct because this is the list, and then we should pass the the first one. You see that those functions are very very important and helpful in our coding. Okay, and then I should go to here QGIS. Yes, perfect. It works. It works, and it's really good. Now we just want to add one frame like this. Uh, let me check it again, and then we can also assign the size. Hmm, maybe zero point five. It's nice. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Then just we should switch to our QGIS and then we will make it a little bit bigger. So where we should go right now? Before, so we have already created a map, set the extents, and also before that maybe we can also say uh, map dot, I think it is enable set frame enable so the first thing is we are setting the map enable as a true when it's true now we should give the number the default i think is 0 0.1 something like, or 0 0.3 but we want to add another number set frame set frame stroke something like this if it has yes and we should give, maybe I can type it here, QGS, uh, QGIS layout measurement. Typing these things are very difficult. So these are the reasons that we are creating different function. Even for simple steps, it's necessary. 0 0.5. So what we have already add, this is this one. And after that, this one we have. Then, is there anything that we have not added? I think Regio, yes. Print also. Perfect, Regio, yes. Print layout. No, 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 sorry, we have it. QGIS. We have this one, okay, so we don't need it. Okay. And this one. Layout point. Yes, we need this one also. And after that, we need unit types. And also, we need QJS layout sites. Okay, great. Good. Then we will, we will correct everything in the pie charm later. So everything is fine, and one time we should run it. Hopefully, no error. Well, where is it? And then we should go to the layout. GIS. Perfect. Also, we have our layout. Now we should add the entire package now inside the uh, pie charm and inside our plugin. So maybe I can just make it again bigger. So we will take exactly the same thing. I will copy it. Then we will jump into the pie chart. So I will select all, replace it with the codes. So you have already seen this part. And also maybe I can cut it, open the parentheses, put it there, and also a little bit better. We don't need this one now again so here also i have already forgot this part 
perfect so we don't have any error here also everything is fine so here we are in our layout uh, here we have creator map and executor we go to the layout generator we go to our import values and instead of the layout creator we are just adding the executor and after that we will come down we will give the executor function and also we have one error here which is layer it's undefined uh maybe we can use our core functionality here just let me take a look at the layer so we have a display vector layer so here i will maybe i will add def uh, activate a layer so here it's really really easy just we should give the layer name and after that i should run qgs project that instance i really like coding in the pie chart and after that what was that thing again it was map layers by name then we should give the layer name and it is a list you should say that we need the first value okay after that i will back to the layout so here i want to say that from dot don't forget core functions import uh activate existing layer so you are coming down so you are saying that the layer equal to activate existing layer which layer you need i think it was buildings or the building layout generator yes building it was a building okay it's fine so here we don't need again any name so here we are activating the existing layer and we are passing the layer to the map yes i think it should work so let's go and test it uh here i will send it maybe i can put it there okay so we don't need this one i, I hope so <laughs> then i will oh first of all we should okay uh, layout generator so for maybe we can give now all of the layers buildings also land parcels i think it was it was better that to activate the land parcel or yeah both of them it should be fine uh, it depends on the project and it depends on your aim load layer okay perfect it's successfully loaded we are giving gis world in layout no error that's fine so gis word good great wonderful see yeah we have already created our layout just think about if you have a bunch of layers how much time you can save with that and if you can connect the input layer to the geo package with one click you can import whatever you had inside the geo package file we will talk about it later maybe in the advanced course and so on again like other videos first of all thanks for your time and if you have any questions don't forget to comment in the comment section below we will answer it as soon as possible so see you next all in the next video which is about the legend and the other properties of the layout. Bye!